Alright everyone, hello. So, if you saw the last video, maybe, this one is going to be about how to progress your Maven, your Eater of Worlds, and your Exarch. So, around the time when you finish your Tier 6, Tier 7 map, you will be given a Maven compass that you will put into your map device. When you do that, you will now be able to click on this and Maven will be able to witness your maps. You will start off with tier 7 maps. Your quest thing on the right will say have Maven witness four tier 6 or tier 7 plus maps. When you do that, you will get a quest item called the Maven's Invitation, which will look something like this. Right, it'll look like this. It'll be green, not yellow. It'll look like this. You will go, you will put that into your map device, and you will run it. What that will do, you will spawn to this arena. Maven will spawn all four map bosses that you slayed in the maps. And you will kill them. You will get an atlas point, and you will progress your quest line for Maven. Then you will have to do, I think, to your... 10 plus maps and then you will have to do tier 12 plus maps and then you will have to do tier 14 plus maps exactly the same thing also you have to do four different maps every single time when she reaches i think tier 14 you have to do 10 different maps and have her witness each of them remember to check if this light in your map this maven invitation light is on right sometimes if you've been doing something else like this goes off and then this light is off if you can see here maven has no interest in maps of such low tier be sure to check if your map is high tier enough and this is on if you want to be maven witnessing right very very simple once you are done with the final one which is tier 14 maps you will no longer drop a green one, you will drop a yellow one. This is one that you can alchemy orb to raise the item quantity of the map, right? Higher item quantity will give you better results. When you finish that, okay, when you finish it, you will get a crescent splinter from your invitations. Okay, map boss invitations usually drop at least one and at most two and if you really really increase the item quantity you might even get three splinters each splinter is worth about 20 c 25 c i think and 10 of these combined if you combine 10 splinters you will get a maven's writ and this is when you where you will go you can roll this you can alchemy orb this you check you, you cannot alchemy i cannot increase in rarity it's just a maven's writ Right now, she is a very difficult boss, and if you are not a bossing character, I suggest you either find someone to do it for you. You can DM me, and I will easily walk up and smash your maven to bits. All right, so that's basically it. Progressing maven is really, really easy. You just need to have a bunch of different maps to keep running, and you'll get maven. What will maven do? She will give you a voice tone on death. Voice tone video will be in a separate one on how to get all four voice stones. But yeah, that is how you do Maven. You just complete maps of different tiers. Right, if I go over here, let me just check. I should have a map. So yeah, if you see here, race course. I've done this map with Maven Witness. Once you have done a map that Maven has witnessed, this is what it says in pink. The Maven currently holds a recreation of this map's boss. That means that you have already ran this map with Maven Witness. So if I try, again, my guy said the same thing, he cannot do this. So the Maven has already witnessed this map's boss encounter, so she cannot witness this again until you go and you defeat all the 10 map bosses that you witness when you do this she resets and then she can witness this map boss again and that is and you can do this over and over and over again obviously in the end game if you want to run your strat to be a boss rusher 
right? And that is this strategy that I'm currently running as well. It's extremely profitable to be a boss rush. That is the first currency farming strategy that I put up as well. If you want to take a look, it's the first video. Audio in that video is horrible. So uh, turn on the volume. If you have any questions, you can ask me. But yeah, so that is how you do Maven. And after this, I will tell you how to progress your Eater and Exarch altars. So, really quick video, really simple, really easy. Not even any music in this one, but it's a really short one. And I will see you right now in the next video where I'll tell you about how to progress your Exarch altars, your Eldritch altars, basically. See you there.